Hi guys, welcome to another tips, tricks and combos video. Today, I'm gonna to tell you how to make two really, really hard to kill Custodes Captains. If you're enjoying these videos, guys, and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell just below so you know each time I release one of these videos. So let's have a look at these two really hard to kill shield captains. So the first thing is you put them on Dawn Eagle jet bikes. Shield captains on Dawn Eagle jet bikes are just really, really quick. They have objectives secured so they can go as far as they want onto your opponent's objectives and steal them with the objective secured uh, keyword. And then also, you know, they're amazing in combat. They're really, really good. They have the Interceptor Lance. So they're strength six, uh, minus three AP, D3 damage with full rerolls to wound. They hit on twos, rerolling ones, and then they have full rerolls to wound and their D3 damage. They are quite reliable at slapping a few things in combat. But where their strength comes is the fact that they're objective secured, so they can run onto objectives really fast on these bikes and survive. But to survive, we need to kit them up. And I'm gonna run you through the best way to kit two of them up so that they're both really, really hard to kill rather than just having the one. So the first thing you do is one of them, you make Captain Commander. So you can only use that stratagem once per like army list. So you use that and what it does is it gives you like a list of traits that you can put on one shield captain in your army. So what you do is you take Indomitable Constitution. Indomitable, Indomitable Constitution and you put it on the one guy and what it does is it gives him plus two wounds. So on a bike all of a sudden he's got nine wounds. Then you give him the Auric Aquilus Relic. The Auric Aquilus Relic is a Relic bike that grants a three plus invulnerable save. It also lets him re-roll his charge rolls. So he's fast and now he's reliable at getting into combat with re-rollable charges. He has a three plus invulnerable save and he's got nine wounds. And then on top of that, what you do is you can still give him a Warlord trait. So you give him the Superior Creation Warlord trait and that gives him a five up feel no pain save is what we call them. But basically if he loses any wounds, for you roll a dice, a d6, for each wound that he's lost, and on a five plus, he does not lose that wound, which is absolutely awesome. And the last key thing is you spend two command points as you deploy him, and you use Victor of the Blood Games on him. Victor of the Blood Games gives him one reroll to either hit, wound, or save each turn. Not each battle round, each turn. So you get a reroll in your own turn and a reroll in your opponent's turn. The key thing is, in your own turn, you can normally use it on whatever you like, but in your opponent's turn, you use it for a saving throw. You save it to make a saving throw with him. So he's got a three plus invulnerable save with his relic, with a reroll from Victor of the Blood Games, and then he's got nine wounds and a five up feel no pain. That guy is an absolute monster. He's so, so hard to kill. And then on the other hand, you can take another shield captain on Dawn Eagle jet bike. You can pay one CP to have an extra relic in your army and you give him a three plus invulnerable save as well by giving him the eagle's eye. So you give him the eagle's eye. He's also got a three plus invulnerable save just like the other guy. You spend two CP as you deploy him with Victor of the Blood Games. So he's got a three up invulnerable with a reroll. Now instead of nine wounds, he's only got seven wounds. Uh, the other guy has got the five up feel no pain ball or trait. And what you do is you can pay one CP to use the 10,000 heroes. It's either the 1,000 heroes or the 10,000 heroes. It's a stratagem uh, for custodies and it lets you take an extra warlord trait on a different guy who's not your warlord. So you take it on the extra guy you've put in and what you do is you make him Aquilin shield, shield host. And then you give him revered companion warlord trait. And what that does is it halves all damage he takes. So you've got two guys, they both got a three plus invulnerable save. They both got one reroll for their three plus invulnerable save every turn. One of them has nine wounds with a five up feel no pain. And the other one has seven wounds, but halves all damage he takes. So it's incredibly hard to kill both of them. Incredibly, incredibly hard to kill both of them. They both got tough relics and tough warlord traits. And like I say, their objective secured. So you whiz around with them on your opponent's objectives. And you'll find that sometimes it can take half of opponent's army Maybe that doesn't even do it, but it could take half of an opponent's army to kind of like damage one of them. But um, some armies just have got no answer for them. So if you're playing Custodes guys, that's a really cool way to run your two shield captains. And if you're playing against them guys, that's what they'll do. So watch out for them.
Like I say, guys, this was a video on how to make two really hard to kill shield captains. And if you're enjoying these videos, hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell just below, and you'll know every time I release one of these videos. Until the next one, guys, see you later.